The majority of young men don't own or wear suits anymore. And this is happening for many reasons like changes in our society, work culture, and technology. And some men even say they don't wear suits because they're uncomfortable, they're stuffy, they're impractical. A lot of men also work from home now with no in-person meetings, so there's no need to own a suit. In general, men's style has become a lot more casual now, especially here in the United States. I mean, if you think about it, we spent so much time at home over the past few years that fashion became more about comfort and practicality instead of a symbol of self-expression status or class. Some men think that wearing suits is a thing of the past and that it makes them look old or it makes them look like they're trying too hard. There's also a price factor, right? T-shirt and jeans, it's a lot cheaper than suits. So why wear suits, especially around summer, which is right around the corner. You're trying to stay cool. You're trying to stay comfortable, but here's what they're missing. Wearing a suit, especially in the summer, isn't about conforming to old traditions and looking really formal. It's really about embracing a style that shows confidence, a style sense and strength. So hear me out because if you're one of those guys, I'm about to change your mind and show you why you should absolutely own nice suits. Look, when you dress well, you're not just wearing clothes, you're wearing an attitude. And research shows that our style significantly impacts our self-esteem our mood, and even our attitude towards the world. For example, wearing a suit can make you feel more powerful, more confident, and a casual outfit is gonna make you feel more relaxed, more sluggish. And this is a clear sign that your choice of outfit changes your mindset and essentially changes how your day will play out. Because in a suit, you might feel more productive. You act like a leader. Funny enough, and this is something that I noticed when I wear a suit myself, it will even change your posture and how you move. It makes you move with purpose. You feel like the best version of yourself. And since when did putting effort into how you look, since when did that become a bad thing? In an ocean of casual clothing, a suit stands out. People will literally treat you differently when you wear a suit. It's about feeling as good as you look and you're about to look really, really good in a suit. But that brings us to the question, what kind of suit should you buy? Well, today I wanna guide you to your perfect suit in five easy steps and I guarantee by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to suit up this summer to look your absolute best and feel confident in that suit. And the first step is that you need to know the reason why you want a suit in the first place. You see, so many guys just think, I need a suit because I don't have one. So I'm just gonna get a black suit because I've heard somewhere that's the most versatile color for suits and that is wrong. As a matter of fact, I'd say this whole get a black suit thing is outdated now. And in a minute, I'll tell you why I would never buy a black suit first. All right, so before you head over to Suit Supply and you start looking for a suit, think of what you wanted to say about you. Do you want it to show your serious, more mature side? Then you should go with a darker color, classic shapes. Or maybe you want something more casual and fun, which by the way, you can be casual and fun wearing a suit. Just go for a tan or lighter blue, for example. The best thing you can do is let your stylist know the exact reason why you're getting the suit. Our sponsor, Suit Supply, has incredible stylists who can help you. And when I say incredible, I really mean it. They know their stuff. So ask them as many questions as possible. Learn from them and they will guide you to the suit that will fit you perfectly. I went to their Soho location here in New York City to get this suit, which is my newest one. And they have a massive space with a ton of options. And I recommend going in because they have a lot of inspiration there. So you walk in, you immediately see the different color palettes. You can touch and feel the different fabrics. And you can even pull inspiration from the mannequin that they style or even the stylists themselves because all of them are dressed really well. But even if you just go to their website right now, you see all of their new summer suits. And one thing I wanna confess is that I take inspiration from their photos all the time. Their photos are the best out of any suit brand out there. No one comes close. The styling, the art direction, it's all perfect. And I use those images in my videos all the time to showcase great outfits. So thank you Suit Supply, not just for sponsoring today's video, but also for giving me so many great photos and style inspiration. So now that you've established why you want a suit, it's time to decide what you should look for when buying a suit. This is the best part, the most fun, because the more you learn about suits, the more interesting and exciting they become. You can choose the fabric, the type of lapel, the shape of the pocket, the number of buttons on the sleeve, the inner lining of the jacket. And it might sound daunting, right, or overwhelming, but it's really not. It makes the process a lot more fun and personal. And when it comes to picking out the right suit for you, you have to start by choosing the right fabric and lining. Think of the fabric as the foundation of any great suit. And it's not just about aesthetics or how it looks. Different fabrics actually have different benefits. Silk, for example, is more sheen, it's lightweight, so it's comfortable in the warm weather, but typically not as durable as wool, which tends to retain the shape, it keeps you warmer in the winter. Linen is highly breathable. It's known for its really cool, airy texture, and it tends to wrinkle a little bit more than the other fabrics, so you know, be careful with that. Cotton, for example, is versatile enough to wear year round, but not as durable as some of the other fabrics. Now for summer suiting, I highly recommend these fabrics. Pure linen, pure cotton, 
or wool blends like this beautiful wool silk linen blend right here. These are perfect for warmer weather because they're breathable, they're lightweight, and they look great. And to see all these different types of fabrics to choose from, just head over to Suit Supply's custom made configurator, which is linked below. And you can filter by season so you get all the right fabric options for warmer weather. Right now you can see they have 107 different spring and summer fabrics for you to choose from. So really there's just no way that you won't find something that you love. Mine is 100% linen and that's because I got this for a wedding that I have coming up in Egypt and I wanted it to be breathable and comfortable. I used the custom made configurator to customize this entire suit and to make it perfect for this warm weather wedding. Now when it comes to the lining, you really have four options. Fully lined, which means the entire interior of the suit jacket is lined with fabric. Half lined, which means the upper half is lined around the shoulders and the chest and arms. Butterfly lining, which covers only the upper back or unlined, which only has lining in the sleeves and nowhere else. And I chose unlined for this suit because I wanted it to be as breathable as possible. I'm gonna be outside, I'll be in the sun, right? It's gonna be very hot in Egypt. And keeping this unlined, it just makes it lightweight, it makes it breathable. It's the perfect warm weather suit. But if you want your jacket to be more structured, if you're not gonna wear it in a really hot place, then you should go for one of the other options. For example, I have this other suit that I got from Suit Supply last year, and this one has half lining. So you can see that it's, it's still lightweight, but it's also more structured than the one that I'm wearing right now. Something you have to keep in mind when you're choosing the right suit is the fit. And it might be the most important part of the whole process. Now, you can have the most expensive suit in the world, but if it doesn't fit you well, it doesn't matter because it just won't look good. So you have to decide what kind of fit you want, and that is step three. And it varies from person to person. Some guys like a traditional classic fit, which gives them more room for movement. It's a more mature fit. It's not baggy. It's just a little looser around your body. You can go for a more modern fit too, which is less roomy, has more of a narrow lapel and tapered trousers. Personally, this is my favorite fit because it hugs my body well without being tight. And look, in my opinion, I just have to get this out there and save some of you from doing this because tight suits, they're just a no-go, all right? If I had to recommend a type of fit, I would say this is it, a modern fit. It's stylish, but it's not overly trendy. I can wear this suit for years, no matter what direction fashion trends go, whether they move to a really slim or a loose trend, this will always be a really nice in-between. If you like it when your suits hug your body, you could go for a slim fit, it works well. If you have a lean physique, for example, if you wanna show that athletic build, but like I said, if I were you, I would choose something with a little bit more room to spare. To me, slim fit suits are just a little uncomfortable and not as timeless like the other two cuts. Also, keep in mind that choosing the right fit totally depends on your body type, your personal style, and of course, it depends on the occasion. You might want something more traditional for every day at the office, but something more fashion forward for a wedding in Mexico with your buddies. And honestly, the most important part of the fit isn't even choosing between traditional, modern, or slim. When you get a suit, you need to have an eye for detail. You need to know where your sleeves should end and how long your jacket should be. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I like to ask for when I get my suits, but this is just what I like. And I think the best thing that you can do is go into suits supply, try on the suit, see how it fits when you move around, right? Move around in it, walk around, sit down wearing the suit. And those guys over at Suit Supply, they're great at making sure that everything fits you perfectly. And that type of advice is priceless, right? Because these guys are professionals and they know everything about suits. So you're getting expert advice as you're trying on the suits. In general, this is what I ask for. I like my sleeves to be just at the break of my wrist. If I'm getting the sleeves shortened by them, so if I need to do some tailoring, if I'm spending that money anyway, I get them to make my left sleeve a half an inch shorter so that it doesn't bunch up on my watch, which I always wear a watch with a suit, so it makes sense for me personally. The shoulder seam should be at the very end of your shoulder. If it's on top of your shoulder, it's too tight. And if it's sitting low on your shoulder, then it's too baggy. I like my jackets to come down just slightly below my wrist, about a half an inch below my wrist. That's a little shorter than most guys like their jackets. I do that because it makes my legs look longer. It works for my body type. So when you're getting your suit pinned up, just ask them, hey, can we go a little shorter? Can we go a little longer on the sleeve? Can we hem the trousers just a touch? These are all personal choices and each of these choices will make your suit unique to you. And to me, this is the best part of the whole process, right? Because all of a sudden, it goes from a standard suit to uniquely your own. And I think that's the best part of getting a new suit. It's the most fun. It's not just tailoring for your features, it's tailoring to enhance your features. So if you have broad shoulders, you can make your suit 
highlight those shoulders. If you have short legs, you can tailor your suits to counterbalance that. So spend some time understanding what you want your suit to highlight when you're wearing it. But there's another thing that also makes a huge difference in the way that you look wearing that suit. And it's the color or pattern of that suit. And it's funny because suits have this unwritten rule about colors. And it's that darker colors, they tend to be more professional and more serious, right? And, and then the lighter colors, they can be seen as more casual for daytime. So basically, if you're going to your office job on a Monday and you have a big meeting that day, wearing a tan suit, it'll be perceived as more casual than a darker suit. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, it's just important that you know so that you can pick the right suit for the right occasion. Solid colors, especially darker shades like navy or dark gray, they have a nice slimming effect, making you look more slender, making you look even taller, they're also really versatile, so you can wear them for, for basically any occasion, and they're easy to accessorize. Any accessory that you have will probably mix and match with your suit. But I don't think the old saying that you should get a black suit as your first suit applies in today's world. You can actually end up looking too stuffy in a black suit. I think it almost looks like you work at the event instead of being a guest at the event. So if you want a darker suit, you should go for a solid navy, you can go for a dark gray. If you want a fun pattern, you can definitely go for that, like pinstripes, herringbone, window pane, plaid, checks. There's a lot to choose from and all of them have these nuances, right? That show your body in different ways. Like the vertical lines can make you look slimmer and taller, for example. And each pattern behaves differently. So typically I'd say go for a solid color as your first couple of suits, but at some point you're gonna wanna have fun, right? You're gonna wanna get something that's a little bit more bold. And honestly, summer is the best time for that. It's your chance to break away from the cold, boring winter and to throw on something that's more vibrant, something that's more fun and outgoing. I'm a huge fan of earth tones and pastel so I'm really happy with this suit because honestly it's just more fun and by the way you can and absolutely should try different color shirts or polos with your suits because it changes the entire look and the vibe of the outfit and suit supply has a lot of polos to choose from I just got a few from them that you can wear with or of course without a suit but there's one final step that makes your suit your own that makes it even more fun and more you. And when you get this right, it's the cherry on top. It brings it all together. Accessories are the final touches that can turn a good suit into a great suit. Think pocket squares, different ties, sunglasses, a watch, the right socks, the right shoes. A suit without accessories, just it just doesn't look complete. I wear a pocket square most of the time I wear a suit because it adds some personality to my outfit. And lately, I've been pretty much exclusively wearing loafers with my suits. This black leather loafer from Suit Supply is beautiful. They have this new suede loafer too that I absolutely love. I just had to pick it up. I mean, look at them, they're perfect. And when you combine these five steps, your opinion on suits will change and you will feel incredible wearing your new suit. So head over to the first link in the description of this video to create your own custom summer suit with Suit Supply and I'll see you in the next video.